Today I woke up and I realized that I needed to do a closet clean out, an extreme closet clean out. I'm gonna try on all my clothes. So basically I've been away for literally like two months. I was away in Maldives for two weeks, got back a few days ago. And before that I was away in Australia. So I haven't been in this apartment, in my apartment for like two months. When I got back, I realized that there's just stuff everywhere. I'm just not happy with like how everything's looking and feeling. My closet is just not where it needs to be. It's just a mess. Let me show you like what we're working with. Okay, so we're coming through into the walk-in, what I like to call the walk-in wardrobe but that is a stretch. Here we have winter jackets. That's a mess. Then we have like socks and like underwear. Then we've got these drawers. These are skirts, tops, and then shirts. Then we have this area, which is like my blazers, my leather jacket, my vintage leather jackets, denim jackets, etc. Then we've got just like a bunch of denim up here, like assorted denim. Then we have t-shirts and trackies then we have trousers and i honestly like never come to this bit because how am i supposed to find anything in here like it's just not efficiently organized then we've got pajamas and shorts and that's pretty much what i've got in here okay so i need i just need to figure out how to make this a more efficient solution because i honestly can't even pull outfits from that area I feel like that needs to be like small like storage and what I'm going to show you now needs to be more where I'm grabbing clothes from. So here we have the closet, you know, the closet in my room. So then we have the knits and I know you're not supposed to hang knits. I know that it stretches them out and all of that. Like people have told me that before, but I have been hanging my knits like this forever. And I'm just okay with the fact that they might be stretched. Like I'm just okay with it. Okay. I don't have the space to fold them. Then we have these like hoodies and jumpers. Then we move over to this. Oh. Okay, so we've got dresses and then we've got like a few jackets and coats and stuff, and ma but mainly dresses. And then here we have the rack of like win like commonly worn winter stuff. That's pretty much the areas that I have to clear out, but I've, I'm actually kind of feeling positive because it's not too bad. Oh, I totally forgot to show you. This is my jeans. But they're basically like on that whole like bottom shelf. That's what we're working with. What should I start with? It's cool, it's like a cool jumper. I can even just like wear it right at home. I'm gonna keep this. Okay, this is a keep. This is a keep. I just love like this shade of pink. Okay, I have these three jumpers, which are all like kind of similar. I mean, these ones are exactly the same. This one I was wearing when I was painting my um, kitchen. So it's got like paint stains. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Yeah, like, yeah, right? Like I really like this shade of green. So I'm gonna keep that one. Love, absolutely love. I love, it's so comfy. It just makes me feel like like the mom from Mean Girls. It's just like iconic. It just reminds me of that time. And I just feel like I can never get rid of this. It's a good like gym jumper. How cute is this lilac jumper? Okay, this is keep and keep because this is from my very first collaboration with a brand. I mean, it's a bit big for me, but I like this like really cozy, oversized kind of fit. I actually wouldn't keep it, but I've got matching tracksuit like pants. Having a matching tracksuit like top and bottom it's kind of a flex. I like the color more odd than the previous one. I don't have a lot of white, so I have to keep that. This is Cody Co merch, which I paid a lot of money for. So I'm going to be keeping that because I like the design of it. This is Harry Styles brand, so I have to keep it. This jumper has been with me since I moved to London. Like I can never get rid of this jumper because it, it holds so much sentimental value to me. Like it's like my comfort jumper. The back says... Pretty girls like trap music on a flight, right? This guy behind me was like, I don't think you like crap music. I think you have good music taste. I was like, no, it says pretty girls like trap music. I don't really need it, but I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm into it. I'm just like an Adidas girl. I, I don't know, I like it a lot. Like it's just so cozy and big. Okay, jumpers are done. I've gotten rid of one thing. So I'm gonna move on to track jackets, which I have quite a few of. This is so cool. What I should... <laughs> I need to bring back this like, this like Fresh Prince phase of my life. Love the color combo. But this one is kind of cool. Like, I like it. How do I let go of these things? This one I'm not gonna try on, but it's like my gym, one of my gym jumpers. Like I'm going to the Olympics and this is like the official track suit of the country. So yay, we're selling something pile. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sell this one too big. Okay, success. We're getting rid of some stuff. Let's move on to the next category. Never move too far past the part where you say I'm too far gone. This is what we have. Why didn't I choose a different color? Like I've got two of the exact same one. I literally wear this, honestly, like all the time and every day. That's why I have two. I'm just not sure how to style it. I mean, I really like the color. I feel like this would be nice with a dress. I just don't get enough use out of it. So I think I'm going to sell it. Cool graphic jumper. 
I mean, it's really fun, but I just never wear it. It's literally still got the tags on it. I have to like sit down and think about how to style this. I feel like it's a bit too bright. Like I'm just not sure about the color. I mean, I got rid of that other orange one and this one's less neon, this one's more pastel. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. I think I would feel really weird if I didn't have like every color in my closet. It's okay. Actually, I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this this spring. I know it. Again, this is from Tucker Original, and I just feel like the pieces that they have are cool and unique and different. Like, it's all right, but look how big it is. I feel like this is a cute cardigan to pair with a dress for upcoming spring outfits, so I'm gonna keep that. Cute with a skirt, a skirt and loafers, keeping. It's not my favorite shade of green, but I do like the like the collar bit. This cardigan is just been with me for such a long time. If I get rid of it, I'll be like, where is that purple cardigan that's cropped? And then I would just, I feel like I'm missing it in my wardrobe, you know? It's too dark of a purple. I don't wear, it just reminds me of Ribena. I feel like I'm gonna keep it to pair it again with dresses. Funny story with this one. I basically found it in a charity shop in London and then it was the day before I was gonna speak at a YouTube event. I went and thrifted this and it was like, it's a men's section and then I cut it and I just cut it way too short. It's just not even straight. Like I just did a really bad job of cutting it and I wore it. I just ended up wearing it with like a green skirt and some loafers to speak at this YouTube event and I just don't know if I can get rid of it because it just reminds me of that day and like how I faced my fears and you know it's just it's just a moment so I feel like I'm gonna have to keep it. This one I am gonna sell. It's just like, like a long cardi that I never wear. It's a high neck and I don't think high necks really flattering on me because I'm such a small person. I think it's cool like this with like a skirt. I'm into it. I'm keeping it. It's just so bright and colorful. It just reminds me of like memories. Like there's so many memories in this jumper, you know? So this one I recently got from Vinted and I think it's cute, but the material is really like, I don't know, like not good quality. So I'm potentially going to sell this one. Okay. So I've got these two blue jumpers. I'm going to keep this one. This one's really good quality. It's from Frame. This one I don't wear as much. Okay. Next we have these two jumpers, which are quite similar, but in different colors. It's got this cute like cutout detail. This one I thrifted. It's got like this cutout, which I think is cool. I think I'll get a lot of use out of it in the springtime. I don't remember the last time I wore a vest. Which one should I keep? Green or flower? I think I'm going to keep the green one. So if you disagree, then let me know. I found another vest, which is just like very similar. They're all from Kina and Tam. Purple or green. This is a sweater vest that I thrifted, but it's a bit too long. This is a pose and repeat times ASOS piece. So again, for sentimental reasons, keep. It's just so beautiful. Maybe I'll wear it this spring. This I am going to get rid of. Sweater vest that I do not need. These two I'm going to get rid of. This one, I don't think it... I accidentally put in the wash and I can no longer like fit it. Okay, so I'm definitely keeping this. This is from Hope Macaulay. I love it. It's a perfect spring piece, perfect spring cardigan. This is my getting rid of pile right now. Over there, that's getting rid of pile. And I'm feeling pretty happy about it because there's quite a lot of stuff in there. Next category is jackets. This is one of my favorite things to wear in the middle of winter. Like it's so cozy. I just feel like a little snow bunny. This blazer is a brand new, but I just don't like the material at all. I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't think I've literally ever worn this. This one needs to be dry cleaned, but it's cute. I like this one a lot. This one was like, I think this one was sent to me. The color is insane. It's from Nanushka, which is like an amazing brand. This is another one that I just don't wear enough. It's a nice piece for winter. You know what? I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I love this one and I like that it, reappears into my life every spring. Okay, we've got North Face jackets, which I'm not gonna try on because North Face is North Face, they're for functionality. So I've got this green one and I've also got this purple one. Never wear it. I remember when I thrifted this, I was in Paris and I just thought it was sick and I love like the green and the purple color combo. I just never wear it. It's like my gym puffer. It reminds me of like a marshmallow. Amazing piece for the winter time. I love the lilac. It's so cute. Like, you know when you know and then like you try to like convince yourself that you're gonna get a lot of wear out of it. I did that to myself. It's really big and oversized. It's got shoulder pads in it. It's just way too big for me. It's cool and I'm gonna keep it. This jacket is honestly one of my favorite thrift finds in London. I love the purple and the teal and this like pattern. So we have this one from House of Sunny. I think I'm going to keep it. So this is the problem with like that other closet because I just don't know what's in there. I never go in there and then I forgot about clothing like this, which I love. I'm obsessed with it. And this one is my most worn coat of the, this winter. I honestly got compliments on this coat whenever I wear it. Some people will stop me and be like, oh my God, the color of that's so nice. And I'm like, I know, thank you. Okay, these are all keeps. Crunch for spring. These are things I'm getting rid of. 
coat. This coat that doesn't quite fit me. This coat that's not just the right length. Next is leather jackets. We have black leather jackets, which I'm going to start off with. I'm literally keeping all of these. Acne Studios dupe. Okay, this is all the stuff I'm keeping. Lazy Oaf, frame denim jacket. A minute's gone by, but feels like a lifetime. This is going to be so fun for spring. I can't wait to wear it. Again, I'm not sure about this one, but I'm going to keep it for now. Two blazers that I'm keeping. This one is vintage. This one is from Revolve. Another blazer that I'm keeping. I honestly don't wear blazers that much, but I need to get... I need to, considering how many I have. Two blazers that I'm keeping also. These are all vintage leather jackets uh, that I will be keeping. I really love all of these. Here's some more jackets that I'm getting rid of. I'm chasing myself. I've decided that the rack is going to be for knits, colourful knits. In this top section, we have a leather jacket and denim jacket. I love the cord colour coordination. <laughs> I'm here for it. Then down here, we have blazers. There's not too many in here, which I'm really appreciating the amount of space. Like, I can clearly see what I have. You know, that's like a rare luxury. So we've managed to start on the drawers section in these closets. There's three drawers to go through. One at the moment is filled with skirts. One is filled with tops and another is filled with shirts this cute little mini skirt i don't know i feel like it's cute this one i am going to sell this one does not fit me this one is a little bit big for me but i think i can make it work do i need it this is one that i thrifted and i am going to keep this one the fit is not good so it's selling this one this one i'm going to keep this one i am going to sell this one i'm going to keep i thrifted this one from barcelona i haven't got much use out of this i feel like i should style it and wear it this one does not fit me at all i love this one i think it's so gorgeous this one i've had in my closet for a while and usually comes out every summer this is the outfit that i wore when I was speaking at the YouTube event. So I wore the green like jumper that I was talking about before, that I showed you guys before, and this skirt. But honestly, this is way too big for me. It doesn't fit. I thrifted from Australia and I have yet to wear it. This one is also a thrift find that I haven't worn yet. This one, I just know that I'm not gonna wear. So I'm gonna sell it. I've had this one in my closet for years. I think it's potentially like too short for me now, but I'm still gonna keep it. <laughs> this one is like a matching set. I don't know if this is a top or a skirt. Anyway, I'm gonna keep it. Like I haven't worn it enough yet. This one is cute and I'm gonna keep it. Oh, should I keep it? I don't know. I think it's going in the no pile. This skirt I love, another vintage find. I feel like skirts are such a good thing to thrift. Obsessed. I don't remember where these are from. They're definitely thrifted, but they're kind of cool and I don't really have anything like them, like khaki, like I'm on safari or something. This skirt, I'm gonna get rid of. It's just like a very trendy piece. There was a point where I was just like really into colorful leather skirts and I bought so many. I need to try this on and see how it fits because I do have a feeling it doesn't fit me. I think I can let go of it. We're coming back to this one. I think I'm gonna get let go. Cute and very fairy-like. One of like the very first maxis that I got when I started my long skirt phase. This is like a staple for me. Like I always wear this one. I really love it. This one is a matching set with a top and it just reminds me of a Portugal trip that I went on with my friend Masera and we went to Afro Nation Festival and I wore this and it just reminds me of that. I'm gonna keep it for the mems. Keep, keep, sell, keep, keep or sell, keep or sell, keep or sell, keep, keep, let's keep this one. Keep, 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 I think I might sell this. Keep this one, keep this one. Keep. I don't know, it's like it's really unique and I have not seen anything like it. So I'm gonna keep it. I thrifted recently in Australia and I'm gonna keep, keep. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting rid of 13 skirts. I mean, I still have a lot. Like I have, have all of these. This is my keep pile. What you never said. So those are some of the skirts that I'm keeping. I'm not going to try them all on because I'm losing the will to live. Okay, first we have this Drew shirt. It's Justin Bieber. I'm a 
it's um, I stan. This one I think I can get rid of. I've had it in my closet for some time and it's basically like disintegrating at this point. I literally never wear it. I just don't feel like I need it. This one I'm gonna keep because I think it's cool. I like the purple. All the white shirts just have makeup all around them. I'm not gonna show you because I just, I cannot. But this one I'm gonna keep. I think I'm going to sell. Mm, sell. I really like this one. This one I thrifted from Melbourne on my most recent trip. Keep. I don't know if this is a good color for me. This one I like a lot. This one I really like as well. I don't know. I just feel like it's a really kind of aggressive checkerboard print, but it's Polo Ralph Lauren. I think I might keep it. We've got this one, which again is very crazy pink. We have this yellow one. This one I think I got from Paris. Is orange a good color for me? This one is from my ASOS collab. It's very cute. I love it a lot. It's from Rouge. Also from Ralph Lauren. All the vintage Ralph Lauren finds are perfect. I love them. Okay, perfect. Let's go through the shirts. There seems to be a lot of trousers and I don't really know why. So we've got some leather pants which desperately need to be altered because they don't fit me. Then we've got these trousers which fit me like a dream. Green jeans, keep. More purple, let's, let's color coordinate this. Actually, I think I have a pair exactly like this. Okay, I found them. These are literally the same pair of jeans, two, same, two pairs of the same jeans. I'm gonna keep these ones because they're slightly longer. Very cool suede flares from my ASOS collab. Pair of yellow trousers, which is cool, but I don't wear them. So they're gonna have to go. These trousers are cool, but again, they don't fit me. And I don't know whether I can be bothered to get them tailored. These I thrifted some time ago and I haven't really worn them. So sell. I don't know. I kind of like these, like trouser suit, suit kind of pants. These cargoes which i'm gonna sell they're quite big and oversized and loose trousers similar to the pink ones but i think i'm not gonna keep these ones oh my nails breaking these ones i'm gonna keep actually i think i recently brought these back from australia with me these flares which are really cool but they're like extreme flares like exaggerated flares i remember these were really tight on me so i'm just gonna see whether they fit i'll try them on cool but they're too big for me i have quite a few pairs of dickies and these ones which someone told me are scrubs i wore them i don't know i think i've probably posted a photo of them or something and they're like you know those are scrubs right i like them then we have this pair of hands which i also think i don't know i just don't get enough use out of it i think i have to keep them for sentimental value reasons i think i got these altered so that they would fit me properly i don't know something's wrong with them but they're really cool like they're like this y2k kind of style lilac jeans we have a couple of pairs of pants that i've thrifted recently they are fresh into my wardrobe two pairs of pink pants then we have this pair of blue pants which i honestly have never worn i thrifted these from paris the material is not very comfortable i just feel like they're so cool like they're so unique suit pants from frame which i'm gonna keep but i really need to get them hemmed we have these white pants which I think I'm gonna sell these flares, which I think I need to let go of. So, bye! Yay! We got through so many trousers. Okay, so I've got my jeans here and I honestly don't know that there's that much that I'm gonna get rid of. So I'm just gonna go through them really quickly. Vintage Levi's, these Levi's. These Levi's. Most of them are 501s as well, which is my favorite style of Levi. Then I've got these black Levi's. Hardly ever wear black, but they're Levi's. And then I've got my white pair of Levi's. Found another pair of Levi's. These are my baggy, baggy Levi's. Okay, so I'm not getting rid of any jeans. So I have one, two, three. I have 22 pairs of jeans. Okay, there's more. 24, 26, 27, 29 pairs of jeans. Oh my God, is this the 30th pair? This is the 30th pair, literally one every day for a month. So we've got mainly got shorts here. 501s, this pair of 501s, which they're really similar. Like, are they the same? Yes. Oh, this is a denim skirt. Slay, they're five five ones. I don't really wear a lot of gray, but I just feel like I'm gonna keep it. It just takes a lot of work to find good jeans slash denim. And when you find them, it's very hard to let go of them. I've actually got this pair of Levi's, they're five oh ones, but I think I'm gonna sell these. I don't know, this silhouette of short, I don't love. Then we have this skirt, which I also think I'm gonna get rid of. Got this pair of green shorts. I think I'm gonna sell them. Then we have this very cute play suit from Pose and Repeat Times ASOS. This skirt which i will keep and this pair of levi's which were actually a pair of jeans that i cut into shorts so we've got this denim maxi it's a lot of denim and i think it will be nice for summer this 
skirt from Ragged. I think I'll keep this one. Got this one, which is a really cool vintage thrifted one. They were jeans, I think, and I cut them into shorts. And I am gonna keep these as well. I have so many dresses. I can't even believe how many I just pulled out. First, we have these beautiful two dresses that I'm definitely gonna keep, but I just wish that I had more opportunities to wear them. They're both from Ralph Lauren. I'm definitely keeping them. It's just a little bit too young for me. This is a 31-year-old dress. I don't know, it seems more like a 16-year-old dress. I just love how it fits, so I'm definitely gonna keep that one. I feel like this is gonna be a really nice spring summer piece. Okay, this is another one that is really, really pretty. We've got the pearl detail here. I'm gonna keep that. Then we've got this really cute dress. It just reminds me of like Beauty and the Beast. Problem with like formal or like fancy dresses is that you don't wear them very often. Is it like almost worth having them? Like I just shouldn't, I shouldn't have too many. But this one is so pretty and it's, I feel like it's just so me. It's from Reformation. I think I got it on eBay, but it does not fit me at all in the slightest. It's way too big. It's just like a, an everyday kind of like summer basic. There's like a For Love and Love and Stress that looks exactly like this, but this was from the girls section at Savers and it cost me $5. It's like an iconic dress from like a two years ago and it's time to let it go. It's a really cute summer, summer vacation dress. What do you guys think? I'm gonna keep it for now. Look at this dress, it's just so beautiful. It's such a nice like summer knit. Doesn't look quite right, so I, I'm going to sell it. This one is so cute, so I'm going to be getting lots of use out of this. This spring, summer. This one is a Skims dress that I got, I think I got it a couple of years ago, maybe. I think it's time to sell. I haven't even worn this yet, so I think I'm gonna keep it. Such a nice like wedding guest dress. It's really cute, really pretty. I don't know, I don't love the print and also it, it doesn't fit me. This dress I'm probably about ready to get rid of. I mean, I barely ever wear it, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one I'm gonna keep because it's like a, such a nice like spring springtime dress i'm actually so excited for like spring summer i have so many cute things to wear it's a really cute um maxi and i really love like the drop waist feature keep keep sell sell keep this one is from retro fate and i got it for my birthday as my birthday dress maybe i should just make this like my annual birthday dress don't get a new birthday dress every year that's such a waste of money just like rewear the same one this is a dress from adidas which i'm going to sell selling these two keep sell so this one is a vintage versace dress from ebay it's like this is how it buckles so if you kind of like, if you sit down basically, or if you like make any movements to this area, the buckle just comes off. I've got to keep it because it's like a vintage piece. Self. I honestly don't know what the reason was that I needed this. It's literally a gown. I guess I'm going to keep that in case I need to go to a ball. I mean, it's a good wedding guest dress one, actually. I might keep it. I was going to sell it, but it's, I need some wedding guest dresses. These are recent thrift finds. So I'm going to keep both of these. This one, I think I'm going to get tailored. So this one I thrifted in Australia, I think like years ago i asked my boyfriend what he thought of this one because i think i tried it on for i don't know to go out somewhere and he was like it ages you so keep keeping these this is from post and repeat times asos this one is a cell i actually don't know why i have two two of these but they're both from my asos collab this one i thrifted but i don't know i never never wear it selling these Keep this one I'm going to sell. Size four, it's quite tight on me. I'll keep it for now. Keep. So I've got these two kind of in this, exactly the same color. I'm gonna keep this one, sell this one. Very glamorous and beautiful and I thrifted it for literally like $8. I'm gonna keep this one. However, this one I am gonna sell. This one I'm gonna keep. It's for, from Full Love and Lemons, which really, they have really, really pretty dresses. Maybe I'll sell this one. It's a vintage Versace dress. I need to get it altered because it doesn't quite fit me, but I love the print. I feel like it's so fun. And the final dress we have is this one, which is giving Shrek, but it's from Full Love and Lemons. I think I got it sent to me. Again, it's like a gown. Like I just need more like galas, award shows, like things like this to go to because I've got the outfit. So someone invite me, please. So that looks about as full as when I started, but I've gotten rid of 23 dresses. That's all the dresses I'm getting rid of. This all fit in one drawer, by the way. That's kind of insane. <gasps> this is my weekend after hours tour top. Obviously, I'm keeping that for the rest of my life. Then we've got this Adidas top. Oh, by the way, that's me. <laughs> that's me on the back. I should start wearing this to the gym. This t-shirt is from Ian Charm. Keep, keep, sell, keep, sell, sell, keep, 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 
keep. This one I think I might sell it. Keep. I might sell this one. Just why does everything have like makeup stains on it? Selling that. Literally everything has makeup stains on it. I feel like I could crop this one. Sell. 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 I have these tanks that are just a weird length. Maybe I'll sell them. I really love this top. I feel like it's so beautiful. It's from Shushu Tong. This one I've had in my closet for a really long time, but I just love how colorful it is. Should I keep or sell this one? Sell. Should I keep or sell this one? Sell. Skims bodysuit. I do like this one. Keep. I used to live in this top. Black? No. Yeah, keep this one. This is a vintage Calvin Klein polo. This one is Roberto Cavalli gold. But I don't know, I feel like this color is not good on me, so I might sell it. I feel like this is good for summer. I like this color, so I'm gonna keep it. This top I thrifted from Australia on my most recent trip. Sell, 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 sell. sell. This is from my ASOS club, keeping. This is like the top version of the dress that I had in exactly the same color. I feel like I should wear this more. It's very pretty. I want to get a lot of use out of it this summer. This one is a real trendy piece from like a few years ago. I'm going to sell that. Should I sell this? Why is there so much? This really pretty top that Kirsty got me for my birthday. I really like back, like back detail tops. This has got like straps on the back. Keep, sell, sell. This one I'm going to keep. It's just like a nice everyday one. Okay, so I folded all the tops that I'm keeping. This is this is a lot of tops. This is all the stuff that I'm getting rid of. There's quite a few tops that I will be selling. So check out my Depop at Post and Repeat. So I have finally finished this extreme closet clean out. It really was extreme. Like, I don't know why I thought it was going to be easy or like fast. I really thought it was going to be fast, but I'm really glad I did it. Like I'm feeling so much better when I look at my closet. So basically we have here, we've got all the jackets. So I moved my jeans from my bedroom into here and I like this. Then we've got skirts in this drawer, tops in this drawer, trousers, all color coordinated and nice, which I love. Over here we've got coats, like long coats, and then we've got track jackets. We go over here and we we have t-shirts and trackies. We've got denim section. So this is denim skirts and denim shorts. And then down here we've got pajamas and active wear. So that's, um, you know, the walk-in wardrobe as I like to call it. Then we have the bedroom closet. So here we have all the leather jackets, including vintage leather jackets. Then we've got denim and we've got small vintage leather jackets. Then we come down here. This is the blazers. We've got shirts over here. And on this side, we have dresses. Then we come over to the rack and we've got the colorful sweaters, colorful knits. That's my whole closet. So this is all the stuff that I'm getting rid of. So I'm kind of packing stuff away already because I need some way to store it. So this is tops and dresses. And we have this mountain of clothes here. Yeah, just a whole mountain of clothes that's my hand for reference so i'm going to be selling some of it and donating some of it so keep an eye out on my depop ad post and repeat i feel so much better after doing that in total this whole process i would say maybe took me like 10 hours <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for being with me and supporting me on this difficult <laughs> two-day exploration of my closet and decluttering session so you can find me on instagram pinterest and tiktok at post and repeat and if you're interested in makeup or beauty content then you can find me on instagram at post and repeat beauty thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye Never moved too